they're upset because they're actually having to live by the same rules as everybody else. They don't want to have to pay the same taxes as everybody else, and they want to be able uh, to control uh, things without proper oversight, which every other Floridian has to have this, this type of, uh, of oversight. I don't think the suit has merit. I think it's political. I think they filed, you know, in Tallahassee for a reason because they're trying to, to generate, um, you, you know, some, some, some district court decision. But we're very confident on, on the law. Governor DeSantis commented on the lawsuit from Jerusalem yesterday. Meanwhile, some Republicans are voicing concern over DeSantis' ongoing fight with Disney. Here is what Florida Senator Marco Rubio and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said yesterday. I think where it gets problematic in the eyes of some people is when you start creating the idea, and I'm not saying we're there yet as a state, but the idea that somehow, like, if you run crossways with us politically, whoever's in charge, then, you know, you may wind up in the crosshairs of the legislature for political purposes to make a statement at you. So I don't think Disney's going to go anywhere. They've invested a lot of money and time, and I think that's going to find itself out. I, I do worry that if this happens too many times, businesses that are thinking about coming to Florida are saying, maybe we don't want to go there because if we get into a firestorm with them politically, um, they're going to come after our business. This is a big employer inside Florida. I think the governor should sit down with him. I don't think the idea of building a prison next to a place that you bring your family is the best idea. <laughs> I think it would be much better if you sat down and solved the problem. Speaker McCarthy, Joe, pointing to the fact that, yes, Governor DeSantis floated the idea of putting a prison next to Disney World oh. to punish them. Again, it's worth going back to what this is all about. This was last year. The previous CEO of Disney, who's not there anymore, came out and criticized on behalf of the company this legislation, this law uh, about sexuality and talking about gender and sexual orientation in schools in Florida hurt Ron DeSantis's feelings. Now he's going to the mat over this, but he's dealing with a different CEO now yes, in Bob is. Iger. And I would just add one thing that Steve Ratner pointed out to us yesterday, yeah. importantly, that this idea of a special district in Florida is not unique to Disney. The villages, that sprawling retirement community has one as well, as does Daytona Speedway. So the question to put to Governor DeSantis is, should those two places also have their status removed? Well, I mean, it just shows that he's, again, picking on Disney. He's going straight after Disney for political reasons. And the fact that the villages and also Daytona also have, have the same setup uh, obviously shows that this is a, a political retribution. So it's going to be interesting to see what the federal court does. Again, DeSantis should sue for peace. I don't keep saying this every day for, for my health. Uh, you're not going to beat Bob Iger. You're just not, Ronnie. Uh, time to move on. Pick on somebody else. Yeah. Because uh, this doesn't end well. Uh, I love these split screens, too. How would you like to be? Like, a politician in the state of Florida, and it's a split screen, you versus Mickey Mouse. You versus Walt Disney. You versus the most beloved institution in the state of Florida that created modern Florida. It's just not a good look. Uh, and, uh, and speaking of not a good look, uh, he's got this world tour going on, Mike Allen, uh, and he's in Jerusalem. Why is he in Jerusalem right now when they're still in session? This is a trade mission, Joe. You should recognize that uh, oh. when you see it. So you're right, uh, as part of this four country uh, swaying, the governor started in Japan, uh, North Korea, uh, Israel, and that now he's headed to the UK. And the split screen I was thinking about is when you are either trying to drum up business for the state and state business officials uh, traveled with the governor, or if you're trying to show uh, that you have a grasp on foreign policy, being asked about this suit, which is splitting your party back home, definitely isn't what you want. So the between the lines, Joe, of those clips that we just saw, especially of Senator Marco Rubio, is that Disney is a massive political and economic force in the state. The lawyers in the party think that this is not going to end well. Uh, Chris Christie, the former New Jersey governor, one of those people you were referring to, who says, uh, cut your losses, move on, and uh, a distraction from anything that Governor DeSantis wants to be talking about. He has his legislature in session. He has a super majority. He can get anything he wants, and this is what but, he's being but, asked but, but, Mike, he's also dining with massive Republican donors who just so just coincidentally happen to be in Jerusalem at the same time. 
Yeah, Axios has new reporting about Governor DeSantis dining with Miriam Adelson, who, of course, is uh, was the wife of Sheldon Adelson. Between them, two of the biggest GOP donors in the history of donations. And so uh, this uh, appearance was a good story, a good political story for the governor, someone that everyone is courting and uh, showing that she's not automatically going to be with Donald Trump as she has been in the past. By the way, P.S., Donald Trump, one of the people who's taking uh, Donald uh, Governor DeSantis to task on this one. Donald Trump, talking about the uh, Disney uh, engagement when Donald Trump is saying that you're guilty of a stunt. Uh, that's another that's uh, bad. thing the governor's being asked.